Uh, Ananias is a guy, and they're in the middle of a great move with God. God is working the miraculous in their church. And what happened in all that is people began to give sacrificially. Big gifts. Then Ananias and his wife schemed something different. They wanted to give. But in spite of that, they wanted to give. They came and misrepresented themselves before God. They came and gave money, and they said it was all of what the proceeds of the of the, the, of the property was, but it was only a part. And Peter addresses Ananias, he says this, it was your money to buy or sell, and this is what he said, you could have done whatever you wanted to do with it. How many know that God has given you the gift that you can do whatever you want to do with it? He said, but you came to the house of God. And it says, you lied to God. You know, we live in a world, I don't know about you, and we're so tired of people who misrepresent themselves. Somebody say, amen. amen. Come on now. We use a big word in church, we call it hypocrisy. And we don't really want to be that, do we? And so what we believe here at Life New Church is we believe in first fruits giving. What that means is this. I believe that the first part of everything that I receive belongs to God. Amen. Without exception. I believe that with all my heart. I don't want it to belong to the world. I don't want it to belong to my mortgage company. I don't want it to belong to the gas that I'm putting in my car or my car payments. I want the first part of what belongs to God to go to God. And what we've seen in that, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've seen it in my life. But I've seen it in my family, and you can in yours. We've seen the blessing of God fall on that. Because what it represents is that we want Him to be part of the whole. Amen? I want all, all that I have to be his. I want to be a greater giver in this world. I want to be a greater taker. There's plenty of takers. Amen. Amen. I want to be a greater giver. A, a, a greater giver. You know, speaking of that, we're going to give up our tithe and offering. Come here, Quentin. Thank you. Thank you. I love Quentin. And this weekend was a special weekend for Quentin. Hard weekend for his mama. Quentin moved out on his own this weekend. And so here's the deal. He, he, he needs towels and you know stuff he needs to get at Walmart. And so this is what I'm going to ask you to do. And then offering in just a moment, I'm going to ask, we need one of those buckets right there. Give me one of those buckets right there. John. We're going to take up our regular tithe and offering. Hold that right there. Quentin, you're going to stand right there. And you know what? This morning, uh, we're going to have to and get this apartment going up and going. How about that? So let's, let's pray, and then we're going to get that going. We'll get Quentin down there, and we're going to bless him. Father, so thankful today that it's all about you, Jesus. As you see the biggest need, and you see the smallest need. Now, Lord, you've always loved Quentin and looked after him today. We want to be a part of that. As I pray, Father, that you allow us to be a blessing and be givers. That the first part belongs to you, and Lord, you've given us plenty left over to give. I'm not so thankful for that today. We ask that you bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you want to come and give to Quentin and put something in his bucket? Come do that this morning. We 
can never run beyond its reach. Nothing in the world can set free.